Look, here's the deal. How many cold calls do you think I made last year? Pick a number. I know I would underestimate. Um, you Pick do big number. numbers. So, uh, thousand? Uh, yeah, I'll go with the, I'll go with 2,000. No. Made 42,000 no, no. cold calls last year. I was going to guess. 000. I didn't do it. My system did it. I did talk to 1,500 people, which is about 10 times more than anyone else in my role. 1,500. Every single solitary one of them was recorded. Why is that important? Because when you're selling, and I mean selling, like really selling, words matter, tonality matters, belief matters in yeah. your soul. If you're selling land and you don't believe deep down inside that that person should want to buy this property given their needs, pack it up, Sonny, and go home. Nice. I believe in my soul at work that you, if you are in corporate America, and you run a sales team that you are an idiot if you won't spend 15 minutes with me because at the end of the day I can change the way you go to market it's the same thing on the land side right. when someone's like yeah maybe I'm looking for land it's like I believe in my soul that I might have something that could be good for you and that's what you yeah. got to do that's how you have to attack this stuff on the phone and if you don't I can hear it in your voice and that's what I do for a living I hear it in people's voices and tell them that they're so there's you know, a lot of psychology in that. that's kind of there's a lot of deep oh yeah yeah. It's not it's not luck like you don't go cold call people, especially in, in real business. Land is like fake business in real business. You don't cold call people and, and accidentally have it work out. Yeah, you book a couple of meetings here and there, but you, you have no idea what you're doing. Do you actually do things like um, with uh, people uh, on, you know, sales where they have uh, not in the land business, but, in mm -hmm. you know, where coaching on like like you said, like um, like voice coaching and like how to actually talk. Like in how to in the tonality. So uh -huh. I do. I did. I did it for a customer for an hour today. And okay. every single person actually hit me up on LinkedIn afterwards. was like, hey, thank you. That was unlike anything I've ever heard. I'm not going to tell you how your tone should be. I can right. tell you to slow down. I can tell you to be dramatic and like, hey, we should get excited. And then we should slow down for these words. But realistically, Mike, what what you have to go do is you got to reach down in your soul and ask yourself one question. Do you believe in your heart that the person you're talking to should book a meeting with you on a cold call? Or should they buy land from you because you're a good person and this is real dirt? Because mm. if you don't believe that it's worthy, it's really hard to sell it. It's, it's true. You can hear it in their tone. You can just hear the call and be like, I don't think that guy believes. Right. You can just hear it. And you could hear it. You don't have to be Superman to hear it. You don't have to go listen to 10,000 calls a year like I do to hear it. You, you can just hear it. And you're like, yeah, that, that's kind of weak sauce. As opposed to someone who's like, believe me, this is real. Like, you'll that's, love it. Yeah, it's like one of those things. You don't know what it is, but you know what it, you know it when you hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's what I do for a living is I help companies understand they need to do it a different way. Nice. I don't I know like, where I want uh, to talk about actions. Weird. No, this is good. This is very like, helpful. I'm going to go turn off the sign. Hold on. I'm gonna turn off the neon I, sign. I feel like uh, I feel like Jordan Belfort is Belfort is uh, joining us tonight. But, but that's way, I know. Way of the I know, wolf. I, know. I sound like I even say this to sales reps. I'm like, I'm going to sound weird and strange. And you can just say that I'm a chump and that's fine. I'll throw punch you when I see you. I'm six foot eight. Good luck. Or <laughs> you can just accept the fact that I made 42,000 phone calls last year and you didn't. And maybe I know something you don't. And so either I'm yeah. an idiot or I'm not. Take your pick. Here we go. Listen up. But, but it's listen, true. A lot. Like it's, unde it's undeniable, Mike. It's, you can't deny it. It is what you believe in your heart. The words matter, but the tonality, all that stuff, it, it comes from here. It doesn't. You're saying it's more, it's like, it sounds to me like more the intention is the intention of that like, you believe, believing it is the intention that. Yeah, uh, this is real, and what you're yeah. offering is valuable. And, they, so, uh, so take this for an example, right? I always hear people go land arb. I don't want to do land arb. And I'm like, okay, great, I'll do it. Who 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 has land arb? I'll do it. I'll take your deals right now. That sounds great. And I go, why don't you want to do it? And the number one answer always is like, but 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 Matt, what if, what if the person I want to sell it to says, do you own the property? I don't own the property. Mike Zeno owns the property. Hmm. And it's like, okay, so you have to have this exact conversation. Hey, Mr. Buyer. Yeah, hold on. Let me go take a look. Actually, you know what? That's a property I own with my business partner. 
yeah, it's Mike Zeno at XYZ Company. Yeah, absolutely. We we do this deal together. We do it a lot, actually. Sometimes I own them, sometimes he does. No big deal. Uh, what I'll do to make this happen is I'll get it into my name because, you know, we're good friends. We'll have it done by the end of the day. And then I can get it into your name and we're all set. Imagine that versus like, uh, Mr. Vire, um, well, I, uh, yeah, I could, um, I, well, it's actually not in my name. Um, it's, um, uh, uh, I'm toast. That's what yeah, you are. You are toast. Right. Stick a fork in you. All that is, that's not tonality. It's not anything. It's just, I believe that's it. It's that's true. the only difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yes. So it comes off that way. And if you can't believe then you better fake it till you make it. And I know people don't like that saying, but it is damn true. So we look inside yourself. And I think most people on the call are like, no, this, would I move to 40 acres in Nevada? I would not. Do I understand why somebody else would? I do. And if they want to buy it from me, great. And whoever sold 11,000 of those this week, be that guy. I want to be that guy. Yeah. Who sold 10 of those? Who was that? Maximiliano. Max. I want to be you. Yeah. Max, so those are the ones you bought wholesale from me. <laughs> oh, there we go. There there we, we go. go. Max was on the show, remember? He was on the show. Yeah. And we brought him on, Matt. We was Yes. The... Yes. You remember. Yeah. I like what you're saying there, Matt, a lot, obviously because it's true and this is something that you're a professional with. And also I feel that with the land business, it comes a point where you're like you, you graduate from feeling like, you know, you just this person who does a little side hustle to the fact that, yeah, I'm a real business and there's a mentality shift there. And I think you were sort of alluding to that when you were saying uh, what you were saying, you know. It's true. You just you have to sort of believe, man, you got to sort of jump off the cliff. Everybody on this call, it seems like is already doing deals or they're in flight school. So there's some there's some belief you have to. You have to just look inside yourself and say, am I willing to say this out loud? Am I willing to say it to my wife or to my husband or to my friend? I'm a land investor. I'm a land. Everybody say it with me. Let's say I'm it together. I'm a land investor. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to go buy land and I'm going to flip it and I'm going to make a pile of money doing it. And right. You, like we all are reserved and we hold back. You know, if Mark ever asks, I don't know if he does. I, I mean, it's been so long since I sat in the regular room at a boot camp. But like, who's a land investor? I bet there's a lot of people who have been to boot camps before. And I bet not a lot of people would raise their hand in that room. Mm. Yeah. You better believe I'd be like, you're damn right. I am two hands. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. It's all good. It's it's uh, it's it's so much about the the belief you have in yes in the process, in the system. And uh, yes. you're exactly right. You're exactly right, Forbes. When I first started out, I did not believe in what I was doing. I was I faking it. I was faking it. But I did fake it until I made it. Because the more reps I went through, the more phone conversations I have with somebody, uh, the, more, the more properties I sold to people who were like, yeah, I love it. I'm standing on the property right now and I love it. Like it completely validates your journey yeah. and it makes you a believer. And then you become a really great land investor because you use all that data from your past and you're like, people love this stuff. I don't know why they do, but they love it. So I'm going to sell it to them. And it's, uh, it's awesome. But anyway, much of what you're saying is really reminding me of way of the wolf. You've read that, right? I did. I, I love the first half of that movie. First half but, of that movie is like no, not the, everything not, I love. Not The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, okay, good. No, I haven't read that book. No, what's Way, Way of, of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. You yeah, got to okay. read that book, Forbes. It's like it's like he stole his material from you is what I feel like right now. Anyway. Well, I haven't read the book, so there's no way I stole it from him. But yeah, I'm not like the only guy who knows this. This isn't like a secret, right? There's no point in me writing a book about well, it. It's, it's, you have it's to a great book it. about... like. It How about a mini series? Could you do the mini series? Mini series for sure, like HBO, hour and ten minutes a piece. Apple TV. There would be some some there would be some nakedness. Not me. I think we could make it happen. <laughs> I think we could spice it up I, on HBO. I, I think we could do it. I mean, on HBO, you would be naked. I mean, they don't 
Yeah. No, I, I know. Mean, like you have whatever. to be, like, be the. the uh, I can't hear you. Box what? Of, what is going box on? Box of Foxborough. It's driving me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having issues. So, that's weird how we got into that subject. I, I don't know. That's really strange, but. Um, I well, spent no, so a, much of my day talking about that. It's crazy. It's a, well, you hit upon some wonderful things, and you know, you hit many. Uh, you touched upon many things, but I think one of the main ones was belief. You know, belief in what we're doing, belief in the business, because um, that does change everything, right? You are. This is a professional land investing uh, machine. You know, you're a, you're a professional land investor. You, you know, it just there's a shift there, and when it happens. Uh, then you're not rattled by talking to whoever the buyer or seller is. It's just, uh, it doesn't matter. You, you know, uh, in the beginning, uh, that can happen, right? You're so hungry for a deal that you get caught up on the buy side and, uh, or, or you're so hungry for a sale, you get caught up trying to work with whoever it may be and fit them into the sale, right? Or fit them into the property. Uh, but that, that shifts and uh, there's some wisdom that comes all the time. Wisdom. Um, That's what it is. Yeah. Well, it's weird, you know, people, um, it's like you're the last one to know you're real. All your customers think you're real. You have a website, <laughs> you took their credit card. They're Why paying you. Mean, yeah. You're as, you're as real as Walmart to them. It's, just, it's, it's all up here, man. It's to you. Like, you got to step up and say, I'm a land investor. It's okay. You know, it's, it's okay. not going to hurt. It'll be weird. But the second you take ownership of that is the second it is a real business. It just right. went from a hobby or something you do on like the side hustle. Like I, I think the side hustle, I think it's a good term and I like it, but I think it's derogatory in, in, in the way where people are like, oh, it's just my side hustle. You're like, easy tiger. You sold 400 grand last year. You sure that's a side hustle? Mm -hmm. Sure. You get to quit your job next year. Sure. That's a side hustle. Side hustle is like, I own a laundromat. I go there on Saturdays and I collect quarters. That's a side hustle. <laughs> okay. Right. Getting Stripe payments and ACH payments every single day of the month for something you did three years ago. That's not that's something else entirely. Yes. I don't know. Just me. Preach. That's what that's what the Sorry. Facebook users are saying. Did Preach it, it oh Matt Forbes. I hate that. I'm out. <laughs> Sorry. The hive mind. They're loving the preaching tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I, loving it. It's been like I have been I've been at my desk since 730 this morning. I left eat dinner. So I'm you're just sorry. getting better. You're just getting better and better as the day goes on, dude. Oh, that's um, so good, though. <laughs> Jesus, that's good. Wow. Double. Cast. Uh, yes. Check, please. Yes. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, somebody says, now I want to buy from you, Matt Forbes. All right, oh. Jeremy Pierce says, believe like MJ. I believe I can fly. There you go. There's the MJ analogy coming back. Yeah. Uh, and Ken Green says, belief happens after the first deal uh, is sold. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would say after the first deal sold, I don't, I don't know if I was, uh, I think I was still skeptical. I'm like, really? I just, really? I just sold this property to somebody? Like, <laughs> it took, uh, took a number of them. I think uh, before it took me many of them before belief, I could say well, I am a land was that I that I didn't my belief issue wasn't like selling of the land or anything like that like I knew it would eventually sell my my problem was can I make it a real business right like can I really grow like and that's you know for me I you know I needed Tate <laughs> I mean I had I needed Tate and I got it from Tate. Right? I mean, I needed coaching to go solve that problem for me because I, I just couldn't. And I like like in an Excel sheet, it, I could see it, right? Yeah. But I, it was really hard for me to wrap my head around it. Um, but yeah, no, it's a it's a business for sure. Good stuff. Good stuff. 